Hey, it's me, Laura, the creator of this podcast. Before the episode begins, I just wanted to thank our patrons. If you're interested in financially supporting us and getting a patron shout out as well as bonus content, make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash auroraeverlasting. Now, let's get to the episode. Aurora Everlasting Are you sure it's recording? How would I know? The red dot. I don't see a red dot. On the side of the... There's no red dot. Upper right of the screen? Oh. Yep. Good. It's November 19, 2547, 4.23 a.m. Today is the day we're breaking into the porous facility. We've put together a plan that's as good as foolproof. After the sewers. After we make it through the sewers. Our goal is to break into the current head of facilities office and retrieve as much information about the Ender 7 mission as we can, and then safely leave the building. Of course, that requires a couple of pit stops. I mean, utility room and possibly the head's personal room. Except we don't know where their room is. Can't be that hard to find. And if we're lucky, they leave their office door unlocked. We might not be lucky, though. I know you're worried about running into guards, but I'm sure we can take a few of them at least. We have the element of surprise. I'm not sure that gives us the upper hand over seasoned security personnel. I'm well trained. You were. Rude. I'm still pretty good. Besides, what about the gun? They'll have guns too. But they won't get to use them if we surprise them. Yes, I, I guess you're right. You know you don't have to come with me. No, I... Listen. This is all about my family. I'm trying to save them. You've been more than generous. You've given me shelter, food, and you've helped me construct a proper plan. You've done so much more than I could expect you to. You don't need to do this. We both know it's risky whether we'd be able to take a couple of guards or not. I don't want you to come with me just because you think you need to do this to help me out. Because you've already done that. I don't want to drag you into this any further. Oh, you're done. Good. If you think that I would pass up the opportunity to get into a porous facility and find out more about their fudging work just because you feel guilty if it fails, you're as stupid as you think I am. I don't think you're stupid. You must if you think there's nothing in this for me. So, no second thoughts? Did that sound like I had second thoughts? <laughs> no. Just do me one favor, please. Hmm? Don't try to fight the guards for no reason. I promise you they're not as incompetent as you think they are. All right. It's not like I actually planned on it. This is disgusting. You're lucky it's not the main sewer. That one you could smell for miles. I think this one is pretty bad already. How much longer? Just a bit. We should probably keep our voices down. Um, update? We're in the sewers right now and... You're still recording? Yes. If there's cars down here... We're fudged either way, but you're right. I think we're good. Wait a second. Okay, yeah, we're good. Why did you throw the recorder? I couldn't throw the flashlight. That... whatever. So technically, I know how this works. Technically? I've done it before, on a different kind of lock. But this looks just about the same. I don't mean to critique. Yes? Is it supposed to be smelling burnt? Probably not. Maybe... Ha! Got it! Cool. Let's go. Oh, Margo? Yes? Take the recorder. What? Why? You know plan 2C? Yes. So if we do get split up, it'd be cool if you could record yourself for archival purposes. You archive these recordings? Yes! Well, at some point I will. Sure. You can have the one that's already on. Generous. I know, right? Ready? Yes, we should go down this hall and then to the right. Wow. 
Why is it so empty down here? There should be at least some cards, right? Take the right. There's nothing important down here, but don't jinx it. If another rat tripped the alarm, I swear. You swear what? I'm going to fight it. <laughs> You're going to fight the rat. Yes. Man, I know a losing fight when I see one. You'd have no chance. <laughs> you don't believe in me. Nope. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Listen, I believe in you, but if it's you versus a rat. What about a mouse? Well, a mouse, then it's... Um... They're going to know we're here when they find the lock. We have to move quickly. Yes. That was too close. Agreed. If we could... What are you doing? Shh. If Wallach is in critical condition... He'll need a new council member to fill the spot. And Crofton is ready to take that place. <laughs> Not if I get to say anything about it. Being comatose for a year and then just dying sucks. Very empathetic, Eliza. Just saying, there are better... There's been a breach in the sewers. How severe? The lock is broken. We can't tell how many people got in, but it can't be more than a handful since we haven't found anyone yet. Security at all doors. We'll monitor from the security room. Yes, ma'am. Get down here now, we... We need to split up. Why? If they know we're here, we need to act much faster. I'll go to electrical, cause a blackout. You go to the office and get everything you can grab. We meet again at the boiler room. Next to electrical? Yes. Do you still know the way? Yes. Good. Let's go. Flashlights would do, right? No, no, no. Give me something to work with here. Yes. Evelyn Coyle, 25, 46. Evelyn is here? February 16, 25, 46, 1532. You're sure it was the Evelyn Coyle? Yes, 100%. Why? Well, she looked exactly like her for one. Other than that? I... I'm not sure. I just assumed it was her. Why did you crash the car? I didn't mean to. Commander Coyle was freaking out about the sedative and I lost control. The brakes weren't working and I couldn't steer the car at all. I tried to, but I couldn't do anything about it. I... I think she was responsible for the car failing and Why would you think that? She was so enraged. That thing in your mouth is there so you can't talk. Just shut it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not doing anything but slightly annoy me. No one's going to help you here. And if they try, I still have your gun. So you better stop trying to scream and start sitting here silently. Recuperare Terra mission. Recover Earth? What is that supposed to mean? Might as well. 
January 30, 2384, 229. Day 13. I still can reach base. Everything is falling apart. We're holed up in some old log cabin, but we can't stay here long. It got shake up yesterday. We boarded up all the windows, but they somehow caught a glimpse and... Yeah. <coughs> I'll try to upset as we go, but if we can't reconnect soon... Yeah. That's it for today. I'll just take that too. What else do we have? Ender 18, Ender 1, Ender 7. Good. Driving that. And personal files. Anna, Leo, me, Ellen? What did she do to get a file this big? December 5, 2506, 903. Devon Jacks, 5, 12, 2506. Good. Any complaints, Devon? I know this has been a hard time for you. I can't imagine how you feel right now. We just need you to answer some questions. Then you can get right back to your day. You're aware of the deal that you agreed to? Get him back to his room. He's got one last chance tomorrow, but if we don't... Time to go. Sure was nice meeting you, Jacobs. Mm. One of them is moving towards the boiler room. Oh. Orson, I swear if you got yourself called. Left. I haven't seen anyone yet, but I'm keeping an eye. Oh no. You got it? Let's go. Did you get anything useful? I think so. Didn't get to listen to most of it, but yeah, something to work with. There's gonna be a lot more guards around here, so keep to the forest. It's not a lot of it. There's enough. We need to get to the hole in the fence that's west of here, so this direction. Who do you think it is? One of the crazies from the Outlands, I'm sure. As if there's any left. Who else would be stupid enough to try and break in? Aliens? Not again. But... You know, technically we're... Pretty sure that was a bird. All right. Enough. Stop. Don't move. <laughs> you, you you killed Don't him. Don't move. What? Drop the gun. <laughs> Kick it over here. Don't. Margo? I I not now. Aurora Everlasting returns with its next episode on July 11 at 4 p.m. Central European Summertime. It was created by Laura Reicher and protected under Creative Commons 4.0 International License. This episode was produced by Elena Hirzerbacher. It was written and directed by Laura Reicher. The episode was edited by Valentin Susani and the sound design was done by Laura Reicher. The script was edited by Sophie Erhardt. This episode featured Sophie Erhardt as Margit Nielsen and as the disembodied voice, as well as Elena Hitzabacher as Orson, Benny MacDonald as Guard Cedar, Sivan Raz as Guard Sherman, Victoria Grin as Dr. Reed, Mona Reicher as Eliza, Laura Reicher as Guard Colin, Kai as Guard Jacobs, Dorothea Pa as Dr. Park, Marguerite Kenner as the Interrogator, 
Vivi as guard Nass, Felix Kiesenhofer as guard Wood, and Jonas Schweiger as guard Weaver. If you want to help us out or show your support, tell a friend about this podcast. Or, if you're feeling really crazy today, you can even tell two friends. You could also review our podcast wherever you like. The best way for us to gain new listeners is with your help, because, let's be honest, our marketing budget is non-existent. If you're interested in bloopers, extra content, or you just want to financially support the podcast, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash auroraeverlasting. And for some background infos, feel free to check out our social media. We're at aurora underscore everlast on Twitter and at aurora underscore everlasting underscore podcast on Instagram. Thank you for listening and find us on the podcasting app of your choice for the next episode. <laughs>